Thank you. Welcome back. You're listening to The Local Lowdown on WCVF 88.9 The Voice. I'm Bella Celeste. And I'm Alexander Vasiloff. And we're sitting down with Mallory One. Well, no. Well, Mal- Mallory One. Well, Mallory One. This is Wow, we've messed this up so scathed. much these yeah, past two. Uh, Thank you for coming <laughs> on, Scathed. We hey. really appreciate it. Hey. My <laughs> Can boys. you guys Hello. go around the room, hey. introduce yourselves and your role in the band, please? Uh, my name is Sean Leitner. I play the drums. My name is Robbie Deck, and I play guitar and sing. I'm CJ Westcott. I also play guitar and I also sing. I'm Trevor Balbeers, and I'm not even in the band. Yeah, <laughs> that's why. That's why you get the worst sounding microphone because we don't even want to hear you, Trevor. I'm pretty sure she's I think it's not this on. Let's like, try. All right, it's not on. Oh, there you ooh, go. There you go. I myself. Sound, sound so much, <laughs> I didn't even have it on. Sounds so much no, more you guys beautiful. Can turn it back off. It's cool. No, oh, it's cool. Oh. Yeah, it's cool. Don't worry about it. <laughs> so how's it going, guys? You guys have been grinding. It seems like you guys have been playing some pretty awesome shows, pretty awesome bills. You just released that uh, that album. And it seems like it's been taken off pretty well. I don't know. What do you guys think? Dude, it's been going good, man. You know, really psyched about what's, you know, happening and what's coming what's, next. Yeah. Well, what, one thing about us that I, I always really like is that um, s- since we try to keep up practices and stuff, we're always, like, it seems we're always evolving as a band. And, like, I could always, like, pick out something that we're getting better at and stuff. And it's just, uh, it's always, it keeps it exciting, you know? Yeah. It's like, hell yeah, we're still yeah. we're still getting better. We still it's a good have feeling. a reason to push, Absolutely. you know? Absolutely. Nice. Yeah. Well, how would you guys describe your sound and how your sound has evolved? Um, it's it's kind of hard to put a finger on it because um, no, we do it. We 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 say <laughs> <laughs> we do put our no, fingers on it. We do. do. It. Well, we kind of do. I'm gonna put two it's kind of accurate. And the fingers two. are gonna be hard Careful, rock. Careful, man. And Robbie might break those fingers. <laughs> <laughs> no, because we like get asked all the time. We don't know how to classify it, so we take these giant genres, alternative. Huge could mean anything. Could mean anything. Hard rock could mean a lot of different things. Yeah. We just say a we're lot. one of those two. Hard alternative sure. rock. Hard, hard alternative, alternative rock. That's what way to yeah. sum it up yeah. in yeah. one. We have a lot of different sounds. Hard like alternative rock. Sounds like skate to me. I think that works. Sounds like skate to me. Yeah. <laughs> that rocks. So um, tell us a little bit about the 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 um, the bitter candy release and how how things have been going with that. Um, that's been it's been how long since that's been released now? Since June. Okay. Yeah. Cool. It's June fourteenth, right? Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's no, 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 the exact date. We played the release show on June 14th. We right. released it on June 7th. Correct. Ah. Uh, yeah. It's been going really well. We're, we're really excited about the way it sounds. Right now, we're just kind of working on um, getting the music out there, obviously getting people to listen to it. Um, yeah, we're really proud of what we did with this one. Uh, it's, uh, we think it's a big departure from our first album, which we weren't. Well, we were proud of at the time, but now we kind of we kind of cringe it. I feel like that's just how. <laughs> that's probably gonna be this album. Yeah, yeah. Like a candy, year, but man. we got our lips tattooed. What the hell is that? Like, that is uh, true. <laughs> it is. <laughs> tell us, tell us the story behind that. So those, so people were like, uh, so those real tattoos, and like, yeah, I mean, yeah. For those yes, of you that would know, so we, we were just we were just in the basement oh, trying to come up with uh, ideas, just brainstorming for album covers. And CJ's like, Hey, Robbie, what if we just got like, like lip tattoos on the inside of our mouth of the album title I was like that's probably like really weird right <laughs> but, but, but like SoundCloud rappers but, get face tattoos They're, they all make it man like, they all make it right. all of them make it <laughs> they all, all, make all of them it. do but, and they every never, single one of them yeah. <laughs> after, after I thought about it for a little bit I couldn't really think of another album cover I mean there might be one out there but I couldn't think of another album cover that had that and uh, I figured, figured that was like really cool because there's so many album covers out there it's hard to be like Super original, so I thought CJ came up with a pretty cool idea. How are they looking right now? Do they look? Can you show the cameras? You tell can me. We, oh, so you all got Sully, Sully, zoom in on the cameras. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> See if you can make them stationary. It's gonna be like not quite fading personal. yet. Candy bitter. <laughs> candy, <laughs> candy bitter. Look at that. Wow. Man. Should release an acoustic version of the album called Candy Bitter. Candy bitter. Candy Just bitter. Candy. Yeah. <laughs> now, candy why did you? What, so, uh, Sean, you didn't want to get one, or what was the you deal? Know, I hey, was, did you feel left out? I did feel left out, man. I did, man. I was like, it's not too late. It's not too late, so I'm thinking about doing that. <laughs> you can get yeah. both. Yeah, dude, you should get like can get upper, upper, upper and lower. Get bitter and candy yeah. tattooed on the inside. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. That'd be sweet. Yes. Something like that. Skates running across my forehead. Oh, there you yeah. go. Yeah. See, yeah. you'd be like a rapper. Like, what's going on? It's okay. It turns I, out Sean would be the only one that actually makes I'm them. I'm making it. Right. Right. Yeah. I'm making yeah. it. Nice. Just get underneath your eye. Yeah, exactly. Oh, gosh. <laughs> With a teardrop right there. Yeah. Yes. Just a jewel. And like a jewel. <laughs> like, that would be sick. <laughs> no, so this, so you guys are no strangers to, uh, to Fredonia. You guys have played BJ's before. Is it, This is your second time playing BJ's, actually. Second time. Yep. Right. As soon as we finished up the show last time, we wanted to go come back, so. Oh, yeah. Oh, sure. Yeah, definitely. Well, we're super excited to have you guys back. Um, 
What are you guys looking forward to the most? You guys had a pretty awesome turnout. Everyone seemed to be really, I mean, that was, since that was the first time people saw you at BJ's, people were like, honestly, were really into it. Like I remember being there and um, your old bassist, like just like tossed a bass into the crowd and someone <laughs> caught it and just like, he was, like yeah, he was just right. like, he was like, play it, just play my bass and I'm going to oh, go. I, he got oh, a nosebleed. You, I remember he that He got a show. nosebleed, I think. And that's probably <laughs> why. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that was, was the only show no he got a nosebleed, no I promise. Should I? You don't have to throw it. You don't have to throw it. Trevor, you're not bleeding. Expectations. Yeah. Oh, I'll be bleeding. <laughs> yeah, you gotta be bleeding. No, we were never. We we made every single venue sign a waiver that said we were not responsible for whatever Calvin yep. does during the show. Well, that's hey. a joke. That's a joke. Oh my no, gosh, no, I no, thought no, you were no, serious no, for no, a no, second. It probably could yeah, be he though. Just, he was like a wild card. It was a lot of fun. We, we missed Calvin. Just, we had to go our separate ways, unfortunately. But um, yeah, no, it was fun. We we love BJ's. We're just excited about just like for don't got such a great like artistic scene that it's like obviously like, the music's a part of that and just how supportive everybody here is. We just. uh we could, yeah, like Robbie said, we couldn't wait to come back. Right. We're really excited. The to culture is just very, you know, I love it. <laughs> yeah. The atmosphere is yeah. everything. Yeah. Great culture. Great, Great culture. culture. Great culture. A ton of variety, too. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Tons of, tons of variety. variety. There's tons of assorted music. Yeah. Yeah. Assorted music. Yeah, Who would have? I like that term. Was it, uh, Twin Rova and Persona. Yeah. That yes. was so diverse. Like, Twin the, Rova was like. Oh, that's the show, yeah, that's that's yeah. show yeah. you played on. Yeah, yeah. But we were all super supportive of each other. We were dancing to them. They were. Yeah, they were. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, it was, it was great. Yeah. great. Oh man, that was actually such a fun show, man. I, I, I feel bad for people that missed that one, but um, yeah. no. Tell us a little bit about like what you guys are heading towards next. You, Sean, you said that you were super excited to see what like what's coming up in the future. So, is there any like anything you guys want to touch base on a what little bit? We're future. thinking about. You Shut know. up, Trevor. You what do you know? Shut up, Trevor. <laughs> You're not even the band, man. Yeah, you don't know. Dude. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> you, don't know. <laughs> you know, we're just our next thing is just trying to get out there. You know, spread the music and everything outside of Buffalo. You yeah. Know. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, looking to take a tour sometime soon. Yeah, I'm just you know. Any place yeah. specifically you Shut guys up, really want to go to? <laughs> like oh. any well, city? we we pra- we we uh we're kind of experimenting. Like we're just starting to experiment with going out of Buffalo, um, relatively frequently. At least gotcha. for us uh, mm-hmm. this summer, we didn't go on any like tour or anything. But we went to like Philadelphia, New York, and um, Syracuse. We were just getting used to actually driving out to shows. And uh, we're hoping that with some of the connections we made at these venues that we played at and uh, just like the progress we're going to make by next summer, we should be able to, there's no reason why we shouldn't be able to go on a tour. Yeah. Right. And uh, we have new songs already written that we haven't played live yet. And we're probably going to want to play them live a little bit just to refine them beforehand. Sure. But, but we're hoping to get back in the studio uh, in the near future for sure. Like hopefully with even a couple months or so. Cool. Where did you guys actually record Bitter Candy? Skyway Studios. Yeah, oh, Skyway shout Studios. Out RJ. Yeah. Shout RJ out DeMarco. RJ DeMarco. He's out there. In yeah, the Rescue Dawn. <laughs> in the waiting room from us. Yeah, Rescue Dawn. Yup, he <laughs> is. <laughs> the emo the version. Yeah. Emo version RJ. That oh. rocks. No, we're super excited to hear. Are you guys going to be playing any of the new songs uh, tonight, by chance? Unfortunately, we have a fill and bass player today, so yeah. it's hard to teach him new songs. They ruin yeah, everything. I mean, I mean, that's the rubber, man. Yeah, yeah right, writing new <laughs> songs is always harder. We don't have like full full members because like you, yeah. you're teaching like other people like the songs you already yeah. have a lot of the time. Yeah. But we'll yeah. figure it out. I don't know. Yeah. So uh, you said what? Like, an active search for uh, a new bass player right now, or? Yeah, I would say it's probably like we're. we're starting to get like more active with it like um, no i'd say that on a radio station is the perfect time yeah. to be yeah. like yes we are <laughs> yes for if anyone wants to take my spot Skate, please <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> please they really I don't think... want trevor in the band <laughs> at all this is terrible no, we wish so much. we'd love to have trevor but he's got so much going on Love and stuff and yeah, yeah. Cool. Um, you guys want to talk a little bit about the history of skate and kind of how it formed together how you guys became friends and how you're uh you know kind of been there and done that uh i knew i knew a friend um that I met like fresh or this right before freshman year of high school that was already in a band with Sean. And uh, at that point I had been like just pushing to like try and play in a band. So as soon as I found out that he was playing in one, I was like, dude, let me please jam with you guys. And uh, one thing happened, led to another. And then eventually it was just me and like me and Sean started jamming. And then uh, that band that I had originally joined and met Sean in kind of fall out. And then we joined, made a new band and we called it Scathed. And uh, kind of like cycled through a lot of different sounds and members, but uh, a lot I mean, of bass players. All, all the songs, <laughs> all, all all the songs that we play now and the basic sound that we've developed into was all pretty much after CJ joined. And how long how long ago did you join, Manly? Like it's like I 16. joined in March of 2016. I yeah, met, uh, so Robbie at work, and then um, yeah, I was like. Uh, 
I don't want to get into. Yeah, it was basically, I'm at work. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Something happened so, at work. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. We, no, no, we bonded over Nirvana. That. It's just, that was all it was. Ah, there you yeah, go. Yeah. But it's like, dude, Nirvana. He's like, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah I everyone. came and auditioned as like dude, a rhythm guitarist. I could barely play power chords at the time. I promise, I've come a long way since. All you have. We see your videos of you playing violin and like the flute all online. I've been playing violin since I was like six. It was. But yeah, we started, so I kind of joined, and then um, my role kind of increased as time went on. Um, And then, yeah, we have had so many different sounds and bass players since then. (laughs) Yeah, it's just too many. Keep coming back to the rest is history. Where does Sean come into play then here? Sean Sean was like a. like the original, I was uh, original, original members with me. Like yeah, that was the I actually, of the story. I joined his band from like pre high school called Death Grips. Death for like, Grip. or like I practiced with them like twice. Not Death Grips. That's, yeah, a, no, that's I, another I, Death Grip. Death, 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 death Grip. Death, death Grip without an S. I'm no. sorry. Shout out. <laughs> yeah, big difference. Yeah. Shout out. Yeah, hit, hit him up on Instagram. I think it's still up. Everybody, just starts, grip, everybody just starts listening to Death Grips way, way more now. That right, exactly. This is Sean's band. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so we'd love to take credit for their music. <laughs> That's yeah, if you want to. Oh yeah, dude, Death Grips. And then where yeah. the where the name uh, Scathe come into play then? Um, after uh, after like Death Grip kind of like fell through. Um, uh, the person that I my, my friend that played guitar that also played with Sean. All three of us still wanted to play in a band, so we decided we'd make one and we call it Scathe. Cool. And uh, just kind of evolved from there. I mean, didn't you just you just came up with that, right? Um, <laughs> yeah, I did. I can't. I came, came out of nowhere. I came up with the name with my dad in the car when I was like fourteen. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you've had the name for a while. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. For yeah. a while. Gotcha. That definitely rocks. Yeah. Well, Dude. we're super excited to see you guys tonight, and I I can't wait to kind of you know be part of the experience because awesome man. man. It's been a while. It's we saw be you. Same here. Last time I saw you was at Town Ballroom, and then you guys played a bunch of other shows in Buffalo. So you know, R.I.P. Um, couldn't make it out to those ones, but man, like. What better way to see you guys in, at our the home turf? What better way now. to play a show than just be at Fredonia Beach? Yeah, yeah, play a home with turf Trevor right now. Too, man. Yeah, this is yeah, with Trevor. Yeah, it's gonna be it's awesome. Oh yeah, yeah dude. Just play this show is gonna be so good because yeah. Trevor's in the band. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just that next level that they need. Right. Trevor, yeah, no, exactly. we, we love you, man. Mean. We'll never be as good as t- unless Trevor plays in the band again. We'll never be as good as right now. Trevor, Night at BJ's with Trevor Belvius. Trevor, if you Trevor will finally experience his first BJ. Oh, this is your first BJ show ever. First. I've never been to BJ's before. Oh, wow. Before. Get yeah. ready. <laughs> start, so, start off I'm strong, excited. bro. This show's going to rock so much that Trevor's going to leave Ashford and just be full-time bass player for I don't know about I that one, so. Chief. <laughs> yeah. Don't threaten him with a good time. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> It'll happen, Trevor. But anyway, uh, you guys want to go ahead and plug any of your upcoming shows and social medias? Yes. Um, yeah, we got, a, we got a show October 12th at Mohawk Place. Unlocking the Truth. Yeah. And Impurity. Impurity, really they awesome rock. metal band. They Impurity rock. Rocks. And then Unlocking the Truth. I don't know if you remember them. They made it big by... They like went viral in Brooklyn. They're like, they're like the street, street, yeah. street performers. They've opened oh, for really. everybody. They're like 18. And they're like, okay. yeah, they were like Rolling Stone. They have like a Sony record deal. They're awesome. So oh, we're wow. opening for them October 12th. Where's Super that? Uh, in Mohawk Place? Mohawk so it's going to be Mohawk Place, yeah, with Impurity too. And nice. then we have... Um, Playing the Scarecrow show the uh, day before Thanksgiving at Tudor Lounge. Oh, also, a great fun. band. I, I can't believe more people Ooh. don't know about Scarecrow. Show, honestly, honestly, when I saw them band. play your uh, your your album release show at, at Town Ballroom, man, unbelievable, they, right? They were yeah, they one hard. of the most wild live bands I've ever seen. Yeah. Young kids, they were just they yeah. just know how to rock, and they that was really cool. Yeah, they got yeah. it. Yeah, yeah so that's the day before Thanksgiving, so everyone boozes anyway. So come booze at Tudor Lounge. There you go. Booze you know, at the Tudor. Who's at the two? Who's at the two? Nice. Very cool. What about your social medias? Uh, we uh, we have Skate Official as our Instagram and Facebook. Um, and if you guys want to follow that, we post we post all of our information on there. And uh, we're on Spotify, iTunes, all that all that fun stuff. But not Bandcamp. Not Bandcamp. Get What's up band with camp? that? What's up with the band bro, camp? Uh, we just what, we're just trying to be legit, bro. You know, like, <laughs> band camp. Like, that sounds like you're just dissing us. That's not a <laughs> band camp. Rocks. We just haven't we just, gotten there. <laughs> we just like spending all of our money. Yeah, no, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I was trying to find you guys on band camp, and I was like, well, I guess we'll just find them on Spotify, and that honestly works out way better because I love Spotify, and I don't. Oh, Spotify is dope. Nope. Spotify is the way to go. Spotify is yes. one, the one of the better go. things that's happened to me. Cool. So all social medias, you guys, you can find everybody on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all the good jazz stuff. Very cool. My phone's going off like crazy. I don't know why. You're so popular, Alex. I I don't want to be, though, Trevor. (laughs) Trevor, don't ever. That's why you're sweet. You don't even want to be. I'm not sweet like bitter candy, though. (laughs) Oh, 
we'll mix it all together. Like all right, we are uh, gonna have to cut this interview off. But thank you guys so much, and you guys can start heading down to BJ's. And-